This video is brought to you by CameraCanada.com. For all the latest camera gear at everyday low prices, be sure to check them out at www.CameraCanada.com. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a comparison video between the Adidas F50 Addy Zero My Coach and the Adidas F30. Um, I get a lot of questions asking me about the F30s or any of the takedown models of these shoes, and considering the Addy Zero is probably the most probably the most in high demand shoe on the market. Um, I figured I'd do a, a comparison between the top end shoe and the first takedown, which is the F30. And right off the bat, I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me, but I'm going to tell you right now, by no means do I recommend the F30. I've worn nearly every shoe on the market at, at very high price ranges, at very low price ranges, and for $95, not even for $60 do I think the F30 is worth the money. It, it literally is that bad, <laughs> to be honest. Um, we'll start with the upper. Um, the upper on the F50 is a single layer sprint skin material, really thin, provides that nice barefoot feel. And also the F50 is available in a leather version where you get this front part you see in red would actually come in leather. So it's it's kind of more of a comfort thing which one you prefer. But the actual fit of the shoe is also very good. It's not very good but it's it's uh, on the higher end at least for the F50s. This is the best fitting of all the F50s, the MyCoach version. Um, where the F30 is made of a, what Adidas call the Singmax synthetic. It's a layered synthetic. There's a couple layers. It's still on the thinner side, but the actual shape and fit of the boot makes it feel a lot bulkier. Um, it doesn't have a very good fit, to be honest. You can tell the shape of the shoe is just somewhat off. It doesn't, it doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right. Especially the heel. The heel has, it's very shallow. Uh, it doesn't have a removable heel, uh, removable uh, insole, sorry. And what is there, it's very high and raised up. So you have a very shallow fit in the heel where it feels like your heel is constantly slipping out. It's it's actually really bad. I've never had a soccer shoe that fit that bad. I felt I felt like I was running around with my shoes untied. It's just, it's a strange feeling and it, to be honest, it doesn't feel good at all. Um, the Other than that, the lacing system is gonna be exactly the same. But again, the fit is, it's such a big thing with the fit is just, so off, it's unbelievable. Um, the other big difference between these two shoes is definitely going to be the sole plates. In that, the F30 does not use a sprint frame. It just has a standard sole plate. It's super stiff. To, to <laughs> it's one of the stiffest sole plates ever, but not in a good way. It's just stiff everywhere. It doesn't. The shoe does not bend where you want it to bend. It bends. It bends right here in this middle point, which is really bad. And it, like I explained, the heel part is really not doesn't hold your heel in very well. So when it does bend, the only thing that's going to move is your heel coming out of the shoe. It's just really, it's really strange. You can see how I even started bending it and how the shoe, it doesn't even fold in the right places. It's just, it's a really strange shoe. Um, but other than that, you're getting the same, pretty much the same stud pattern, which is definitely a plus. A lot of people like the stud pattern. Um, where on the F50 it's actually a sprint frame with the heel counter running all the way through and you also get that my coach chip option um, the, the my coach also has kind of the new and improved stud pattern with these little kind of rounded uh, studs at the front here again if you read the review on my website there's not actually much of a difference at all as far as how they feel but uh, that is the difference uh, as far as how they're going to feel when you're running, the my coach fits a lot better. It's going to sit a lot tighter to your foot. It it feels better. Everything about the F30 to me just felt awkward. Since this is the Addy Zero line, uh, weight is obviously the most important factor, and a lot of people are buying the F30s not realizing that it's not actually a lightweight shoe. Um, I have the F50 here. This is the synthetic version in a size nine with the comfort insole. And I'm going to put it on the scale, weigh it real time so you guys can see exactly what it weighs. And I'm reading 6.35 ounces, which is not as light as past Addy Zeros, but for a premium lightweight shoe, that's very light. It's one of the lightest shoes that you can buy on the market right now. Where the F30, pick it up in your hand, and the people who are buying these shoes, not to say that they're uneducated, but they just, they're, they're so concerned about how the shoe looks. They'd rather have a shoe that looks like the F50 than a good shoe. So when you actually put it on the scale, it's not light. Let's do that again. It weighs nine ounces, which is not heavy by any means, but it's not light either. Just for comparison's sake here, I have a Puma King Finale, which 
a lot of people are turned off because of it's not not being a lightweight and it only weighs 9.4 ounces that's essentially the weight of the the weight of the laces which is the difference between F30 and a Puma King Finale which is not by any means trying to be a lightweight soccer shoe so that just it it kind of just points out on um, how little you're actually getting for from the F30 for the price you pay um for less for less of a price you can get a Puma King you can get a Diodora you can get something really high quality even a even a Nike uh, Mercurial Miracle is going to be a better option for you if you're looking for that takedown speed boot. Um, there are just better options. The Umbro GT Pro 2 comes to mind. Really don't settle for the F30 takedown. If you really want that F50 look but you don't have the money for the F50, I, I can't stress more to just stay away from the F30s or even the F10s because the takedowns in the F50 line are just really, really bad. <laughs> Uh, again, if you guys want to check out the full written reviews for the Adi Zeros and the Synthetic or the Leather, I'll leave links in the description to my website, SoccerReviewsForYou.com. Take you right to the review page. It'll be buy now links as well as high quality pictures on both the pages. Um, the review for the F30 is not up yet, but in the meantime, if you want to check out the high quality pictures or even the buy now links, um, those will be on my website as well. The links will be in the description. As always, guys, if you have any questions not related to the video, go ahead and ask them on my Facebook page. The links in the description to that. And also, if you're interested in following me on Twitter, links in the description of that as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.